Welcome to The Tech Show. I'm Sonia Gavankar. This week, we're going to elevate our spring beauty routine. We talk about out-of-this-world summer camps, and we've got a cute and cuddly Take My Money coming up your way. All that and more on The Tech Show. Now it's time for the latest. If recent trends are anything to go by, Disney Plus is about to strengthen its claim to the title of best streaming service in 2022. Hulu has added almost 30 National Geographic documentaries to its expiring page for the end of March. And given that Disney streaming boasts its own dedicated National Geographic hub, we expect many of these non-fiction features to land on Disney Plus. Disney hasn't confirmed as much just yet, but with both Hulu and National Geographic now majority owned by the Walt Disney Company, it'd be a big surprise to see these documentaries, many of which are already available on international versions of Disney Plus, move elsewhere. A veteran who set up an independent business delivering packages for Amazon told Protocol he wanted to shut his business down, but was too afraid of anticipated exit fees from Amazon. Amazon's vast delivery network is partially made up of delivery service partners, third-party contracted firms that deliver the tech giant's packages to customers. And the veteran set up his DSP after he saw an ad that specifically encouraged veterans to apply by saying the usual requirement for applicants to have $10,000 in startup cash would be waived for veterans, he told Protocol. They make it extremely difficult for you to get out of the program, he said. If I were to say, hey, I can't do this anymore, they write down every nick or scratch on the vehicle. The average person that tries to return the vehicle, you're looking at uh, well over $100,000 in damages that they're gonna find in your fleet. Vice also published reports recently about Amazon DSP owners shutting down their business. One delivery service partner told Vice she was shutting down her business in October because she was falling into debt and showed the publication an invoice for $64,000 for damages on 20 vans. Another woman who started a DSP business filed a lawsuit against Amazon in January, alleging the tech giant squeezed her profit margins with its performance standards. That lawsuit said Amazon charged delivery service partners for returning vehicles through its van leasing contractor when a DSP contract was terminated and that one person was charged $19,000 in exit fees each for multiple vans. We'll be back in 30 seconds. A Vivint smart home system with smart locks, lights, cameras, and more is the smartest way to protect your home and family. But we're not the only ones saying it. U.S. News & World Report named us the top home security system of 2019. Fast Company said we're opening the door to the connected home of the future. TechCrunch even called the Vivint smart home experience magical. Protect your home with the number one smart home service provider in the U.S. Vivint Smart Home. And right now, when you call 800-803-1337, we'll install your whole system for free. Many transitioning service members and veterans leave military service with life-altering disabilities that can lead to employment challenges. The Veterans Benefits Administration's Veterans Readiness and Employment Program, or VRNE, assists veterans with service-connected disabilities and a barrier to employment prepare for, find, and maintain suitable careers, or achieve and maintain a life of independence. Today, we have VRNE's new executive director, Nick Pamperin, with us to talk about how this program helps transitioning service members and veterans partner with the VA on an individualized plan to achieve their personal goals. Hello, Nick. Hello, Sonia. How does VRNE work? Um, a veteran with a service-connected disability and an employment handicap works hand-in-hand -hand with a master's educated, professionally trained counselor throughout their entire duration of, the, of their participation in our program to make sure that they're achieving their goals and objectives to lead to that ultimate goal with our program being employment as, as an employment driven program. So it, it really is a one-on-one -on -one highly individualized benefit to, to cater and, and, and uh, satisfy each unique veteran circumstances. What are VRNE's five tracks? Sure. Um, VRNE has five tracks. Each veteran is, is different. So 
Uh, you know, one of them is, for example, reemployment, uh, and this usually caters to National Guard uh, 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 or reserves that are coming off active duty that just need some assistance with maybe a reasonable accommodation to go back to their normal, their, their prior employer. Uh, rapid access through employment might be that veteran who already has all the skills. They just need maybe uh, resume writing skills or interview skills or job leads and they'll work with our employment coordinator. Uh, Long-term services is where the bulk of our veterans reside within the five tracks and that's where they usually tend to go through a four-year two college degree, two years associates or some sort of long, longer-term training uh, to meet that employment goal. But we also do offer self-employment for those veterans who are eligible and qualify that wish to stand up their own business. Uh, and then lastly, for those veterans whose employment or their disabilities are so severe uh, as to hinder uh, gainful employment, uh, we have a program or a track called Independent Living, uh, which provides them with assistance uh, and, and community assistance, housing modifications, things of that nature, so that they can live independently. If someone is eligible for VR and E and the post 9-11 GI Bill, which one should they use? If someone were to apply for and utilize VR and E benefits, it would not count against their 48 months of entitlement for GI Bill. Uh, so it could be very advantageous to, to come to uh, um, VR and E first. But it really, if the veteran really needs that extra assistance, that working with a professionally trained counselor to achieve those goals, VR and E is, is the program for that. Um, that's where they will get that extra level of assistance and support to achieve their employment goals. This is really great. Where can veterans learn more about the program and apply? Sure. Uh, we have regional offices in every state. Uh, they can go to va.gov slash VR and E. Um, great place to learn. They can also contact uh, um, our toll free number at 1-800-827-1000 and talk with a, uh, <clears throat> with a counselor on the phone. Uh, or they can reach out to their, locally, uh, their local regional office and talk directly with uh, the vr &E division uh, within their, their state. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. We'll be back with more of The Tech Show in just a minute. Stay tuned. So is there still a place for the much neglected iPad in your life? Marcus Brownlee gives the 2022 model a test drive in this week's field test. Hey, what's up? I'm KBHD here. Okay, there's a book called The Myth of Fair Value. And in that book, it's all about pricing strategies for different products and things like that. And in that, there's a study that they go over about purchasing patterns. So in test number one, a company selling a product offers a regular option and a premium option. And four out of five people pick the more premium one. So then in test number two, they added a third cheaper option to see if they could maybe increase revenue by looping in an audience that's looking for a cheaper, lowest possible price. Turned out the cheapest option was kind of just ignored, but it completely flipped the ratio of standard to premium purchases because now people would assume that the middle one was the appropriate value. So then in test number three, they took away the cheap option, but then added an ultra premium option over the top. And this ended up flipping the ratio right back to the original premium one, but also some portion of people just went with the more expensive one just because that's what they want. And so this ended up with the highest overall revenue generated. Pricing ladders are very real and very much designed to get you to spend as much as possible and make those companies as much money as they can. This is the new 2022 iPad Air with the new M1 chip inside. You can tell because it's a nice, shiny, deeper blue color. Uh, it's nice, but it is one of the stranger Apple products that I've seen in a long time because of its price and where it sits in the lineup because it kind of messes with the ladder a little bit. So look, it's, it's actually very simple to understand what you're getting here with this spec bump, which is an even more powerful version of the iPad we already know. I already reviewed the 2020 iPad Air, and I'll link that below the like button so you already know what you're getting on the outside. And then I've already reviewed several computers with the M1 chip, including the iPad Pro with this M1. So you know what you're getting on the inside too. This is a thin 11 inch tablet, same exact dimensions as the last iPad Air, so those cases all still work. Your single camera on the back, USB type C at the bottom, the Touch ID fingerprint reader in the power button up in the corner. 
and the 11 inch 60 hertz display up front running the exact same iPad OS as every other iPad. The reason it's so strange is this is the most I've ever seen one Apple product seem to overlap another. That other product being the iPad Pro. So the last iPad Air was already very close to the iPad Pro, right? It had basically the same dimensions, same exact camera, same battery life, and the same software features of all the other most expensive iPads. It works with the same second gen Apple Pencil. It's just as thin. In my review, I called it the one true iPad Pro killer because it's 80% of the tablet for 200 less dollars. And so this year, now that the new iPad Air also gets the incredible, massively overkill new M1 chip inside, it's one more thing that they do exactly the same. So the iPad Air starts at 599 and the 11 inch iPad Pro starts at 799. But let's take a closer look at this pricing. See, this is a pricing ladder after all. So it's designed to have something available at every price. And then every time you arrive at one price, there's something a little higher to try to nudge you up and try to get you as high in that ladder as they can. So the base price iPad Air is only a 64 gigabyte iPad. For 600 bucks in 2022, that's not really great. I mean, we got 20 gig games today. So of course, the only available storage option is straight up to 256 gigs, which is 150 extra dollars. So now you're playing in the $750 territory, which is a lot of money to spend on an Air when for just $50 more, you can get a Pro, right? So now you might as well just bump up to the iPad Pro. So you can see what they're doing, right? They're nudging you up a little bit by a little bit. But the thing is, the iPad Pro is more expensive, but it's almost the same tablet in so many ways. This iPad Air is another great spec bump that actually makes me even more frustrated that iPad OS is not evolving to fully take advantage of it. But that's another rant for another video. Summer is almost here and you may be ready for some seasonal updates and quick household makeovers. Lifestyle and home design expert Kelly Edwards is here to share her latest tips and tricks to get the home in order for indoors and out. Hi, Kelly. Welcome back to the show. Hi there. How are you? Yes. The number one thing that you're going to need for your home this summer is air conditioning, right? And I am joined today by two amazing air conditioning units from LG. Their first one is their portable unit. Absolutely amazing, sleek, powerful airflow, and also quiet. Now, this is their 10,000 BTU model with dual inverter. Cool spaces up to about 500 square feet. It has a three-in-one operation, which is cool fan and dry modes, perfect for living rooms, offices, and really does flexibility when space is an issue. They also have their window unit, which is their Energy Star certified LG 8000 V2 dual inverter. It's perfect for rooms up to about 340 square feet, multiple fan speeds, sleep low, high, and four way adjustable. By using these, you can save 40% on energy and they deliver exceptional power and keeps your home cool and comfortable. Now, in terms of the outdoor spaces, you certainly want to make sure you protect those as well. So, Thompson Water, water Seal is perfect for the DIYers that are looking for a simple water proofing protection. Now, this is great on exterior surfaces like wood, concrete, brick pavers. They have wood sealers, multi-surface waterproofers, masonry protection, and surface prep. It also comes in multiple opacities, so you can range from subtle color to a visible wood grain to a full coverage and full color. Now, you can go to national retailers or online to pick this up. Super easy, great for DIYers. Last but not least, if you need to save some money, go to Slick Deals. Now, Slick Deals is amazing. Basically, it's shoppers helping shoppers find the best product at the best price. Site, apps, browser extension, and a rewards program has 12 million unique users. They vote and vet on the very best deals from the top retailers like Amazon or Walmart. So you always know you're getting the best deal. It's like having 12 million friends that share and understand the best deals. Now you can also set a deal alert to be notified in your inbox when a deal that matches your criteria gets posted to the site. So before you buy anything, you can go to slickdeals.net. So a little something for the air conditioning, a little bit something for the exterior of your home. And of course, I'm all about deals and steals. So you have to go to slickdeals.net before you purchase anything. Thanks for joining us again, Kelly. Thank you for having me. We have to take a quick break, but more of the tech shows coming up right after this. Hi, I'm Jimmy J.J. Walker, 
It's the Medicare open enrollment period. So before the deadline, you may be able to eliminate co-pays and get Part C benefits like transportation, meals, prescriptions, expanded dental coverage, all at no extra cost. Plus, you may be eligible to get money added to your Social Security check every single month, up to $1,700 for all of next year. Call, check your zip code. I called to check my zip code. I called to eliminate copays. I called to save money. I called to get my dental work covered. I called to get money added to my Social Security check. Only one word can describe these extra benefits and money. Dine on my! Call, check your zip code. Don't miss that deadline. Call now. It's free. Call 1-800-595-4764. That's 1-800-595-4764 now. What if this happened to you when you're alone? Or what if it happened here? With MedGuard Alert, you're never alone. You can connect with medical professionals anywhere, anytime. And now MedGuard is introducing our exclusive new CareWatch. If you need help quickly, use it from anywhere to contact medical professionals. No cell phone required. The CareWatch is not only a life-saving medical alert device, it's a revolutionary health monitoring system that checks your blood pressure, heart rate, oxygen saturation, duration, and much more. And here's the best part. If you have Medicaid, you may qualify to get your care watch for free. The care watch is only available through MedGuard Alert. Call us right now. We have monitoring programs starting as low as a dollar a day. The call is free. Activation is free. Shipping is free. And no contract is required. Remember, with Medicaid, you may qualify to get your care watch for free. Don't wait. Call us to get your care watch right now. Operators are standing by. Are you looking for an out-of-this-world experience for your space-inspired kid? The ISET Mission Discovery Program allows kids from around the world to work together to launch their science careers before they're even out of high school. We're joined by founder and director Chris Barber of ISET to tell us more. Welcome to the show, Chris. You're coming to us from Wales. Uh, that's absolutely true, and I'm, I'm delighted to be here on Tech TV. Um, one of the things that, that, the, that the students can do is, whilst we don't actually send them into space, we actually give them the opportunity to be a part of the International Space Station, to have their ideas and work carried out by astronauts as they orbit the Earth. And I think it's a fantastic thing for young people that are still not out of school to be a part of biggest thing that humans have ever built, the International Space Station, you know, value about $150 billion. Well, you've talked about where the products can actually go, but where does the program take place? The program takes place anywhere where we can get support and uh, within a suitable venue. So we've the program's taken place in at various places in the USA, the United Kingdom, India, Singapore, Australia. So we, uh, and if it hadn't been for the pandemic, we would have been taking the program out to a range of other countries in other continents, yes. What do the kids experience during the program? It, they, the program is led by astronauts, NASA leaders, and really world-renowned scientists. So one, one of the things from the beginning is they get a chance to mix with these people. They don't just hear them, but they get a chance to mix with them in, a, in, in sort of social environments at breaks and so on. They follow a program which starts off with NASA leadership. What are the, what are the gems of leadership within NASA that, that uh, our guests want to pass on to the young people. We follow that with talking to them about the environment of space, which, which we then take on to how do you create technologically? How do you create scientifically? How do you organize yourselves? How do you budget? How do you plan? And we have some great sessions on how you improve your presentation skills because the young people work in teams. And at the end of usually a week's program, each team presents to the judges 
on their ideas for an experiment to be taken in, into space. We select the best ones. Uh, we, we build them. We take them down to, uh, down to Florida and launch them up to the space station on SpaceX. The other thing I would like to say is we do some programs uh, where we have young people from all over the world come to it. So, for instance, the one we did last summer at King's College London had young people from 28 different nationalities come along. So it's, it's also a cultural experience where people get to meet others and understand where they come from, which I think in a world, a world of global uh, communication, I think is excellent for their futures. What is the right age to attend your program? Um, we've done this program uh, with all ages. Uh, so our, our normal age is 13 to 18. However, we've, we've done the, the program with uh, postgraduate students and we've even done it with lower age groups, uh, definitely the lower end of middle school. And interestingly, the first time people from NASA got back to us and said, you must publish these results, that was an experiment that was, that was uh, created, the ideas were created by a group of 10 and 11 year old students from the Welsh Valleys, one of the poorest areas in the United Kingdom. It was about testing immiscible liquids, liquids that don't mix together in space. And that, that, to that, up to that time, that was the most impressive experiment we performed. So age is no barrier to being creative and quite brilliant. So we're, we want to join. I want to come to this. When's your next session and how do we register? Um, if you go onto, the, onto our website, um, www.issest.org, or if you simply type in mission discovery it, into your uh, browser, then it will come up. And, uh, and you can register or follow up or, or go onto the website and send us an email and we'll get back to you and tell you where, is, where it's easiest for you to join a program. Thanks so much, Chris. We have to take a quick break, but more of the tech shows coming up right after this. Now it's time for Take My Money, where this week we have a not so furry friend. the upsides of having a cat and none of the psychopathic tendencies. My cat, go ahead and take my money. See, a cat would just like jump up in the air, try and grab all the money because they're crazy. Thanks for joining us this week. Follow us at the Tech Show TV and join the conversation. Check you later.